Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, are the Labour leaders' achievements being overlooked? Jeremy Corbyn was awarded a Peace Prize last Friday. If that's news to you, it's probably because it wasn't reported by most broadcasters, newspapers or mainstream news websites. But should it have been? Well, it all started with a press release in September. Jeremy Corbyn had won the Sean McBride Peace Prize from an organisation called the International Peace Bureau. Last week, Mr Corbyn went to Geneva to deliver a speech to the United Nations. And whilst he was there, he received the Peace Prize. His speech was covered by mainstream media outlets, but the fact he'd won the prize was not. The online news site Squawk Box posted an article accusing the BBC and other mainstream media outlets of ignoring Mr Corbyn's accolade. And the story was picked up by Corbyn's supporters on social media, accusing the MSM, or mainstream media, of bias. But when Channel 4's fact check looked into the accusation, they concluded that the award of the prize had only been reported twice in the UK media since 1992. But that article prompted another furious backlash on social media from Jeremy Corbyn supporters. Well, we're joined in the studio by the Labour frontbencher and Jeremy Corbyn ally, Chris Williamson. Welcome back to The Daily Politics. So why do you think there is a conspiracy amongst UK mainstream media to suppress positive stories about Jeremy Corbyn? Well, you tell me, but it's pretty clear that there was a media blackout. And uh, let's remember when Jeremy, there was a photograph of Jeremy wearing a tracksuit, it made front page news. When Theresa May put a star on the top of a Christmas tree, there was wall-to-wall -wall coverage, as there was of William and Kate being awarded a Blue Peter badge. And here we have the leader of the opposition mm. being awarded a, we being awarded a, a prestigious uh, peace uh, uh, award, uh, being completely ignored. But why didn't you even mention it or tweet about it when it was actually announced back on the 6th of September? Well, Jeremy, as you know, is not one for uh, bragging about his achievements. And the fact is, when the award was made, that's when the ceremony took place uh, last week. Mm -hmm. That was when the time, it seems to me, for the media right. to have surely, actually... Surely, surely you do a... it at the time it was announced. And part of the problem was that nobody in Labour announced it. I don't... I look, I mean, what I would ask you this, Joe, is if it was Theresa May that had been given this award, or any award, do you think that the mainstream media would have ignored it? Well, no, maybe, would maybe the conservative... Coverage, all I'm saying is maybe the, the conservative press office might have done. When did you actually hear about uh, the fact that he'd won the award? Well, I heard about it when he was actually uh, awarded it uh, last week. Right. And, uh, so you I, didn't know expect... about it either on the 6th I, of September? I, 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 no, indeed. But right. I would have expected the mainstream media, when you have the leader of the opposition being awarded this, this, prestigious, uh, this prestigious award to have actually you know, given some attention to it. I wasn't saying it should be you know, main headline news, but there was no mention whatsoever. Shouldn't there have been some attention given to the fact that Jeremy Corbyn had won this Peace Prize? I have to confess I had neither heard of that particular prize before, nor had I heard that it's been awarded. And in my experience, if you want news out there, you have to quite often beat your own drum a little bit as well. Right. I mean, do you agree with that? You didn't know about it, you've just said, uh, back on the 6th of September, when it was actually announced that he'd won this Peace Prize. None of the official Labour media accounts, or even Jeremy Corbyn himself, actually publicised it. Do you think that is the problem? No, I think the problem is very clearly with the mainstream media, who simply ignored it. Even, oh. when it, even when it went viral on social media... When did it go, still, when did it go viral on social well, media? Well, well, after he'd been awarded the, uh, the, the prize. Right, but um, the criticism from you was that we didn't report it at the time. Um, and, as I'm saying, you didn't seem to know about it, nor did, Lab, nor did Labour... Nor did Labour. Well, job, isn't it? Uh, it is, but then if you're not prepared to publicise it... It's not about um, being and prepared help. to publicise it. You're the media outlet, aren't you? You are the BBC and the, you know, the mainstream newspapers and so on. It's their job to report the news. Here we have the leader of the... But I don't think you even knew he'd been awarded this prize before be, last Friday. So, be, I mean, to some extent, why would every part of the media know if you yourself didn't know? Why are you know? saying that you didn't know? The Labour media... I, I didn't know at the time it was announced on the 6th of September. <laughs> no, why not did, the 6th of September, no. But, no, that's I mean, what I'm we're talking, talking about. about last week. Yes, no, but why didn't you know then? Did you know on the 6th of September? No, did that, Jeremy Corbyn know that he Joe, had been irrelevant. awarded? Why that's is it irrelevant? irrelevant? Because the issue is the, the, the presentation was made last week uh, he was over in Geneva for that and indeed to make a, 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 an important speech which didn't get a lot of coverage either. 
the leader of the opposition being given this what I think is a prestigious award. This organisation has been in existence since 1891. Um, you know, some say inspired the, the you know the Nobel Peace Prize mm. to, to come into existence in the, in the first instance. So you know they have they have very distinguished sort of antecedents in that sense. And yet the media ignored the fact that the the, the leader of the opposition, mm. the official opposition in this country. Uh, being awarded this, and particularly when you take into account all of the smears which have been levelled at Jeremy. Well, let me put uh, that over to this issue about you know his support, alleged support for Hamas and so on, which is complete nonsense, as we know. Here we have a peace award being awarded uh, to him, and no ma no mention of it. Don't you think that is unfair on Jeremy Corbyn? I mean, there has been negative uh, coverage, as Chris Williamson said. Do you think that negative coverage has been unfair? Uh, you know, Randolph Hearst once said that. Uh, news is what someone doesn't want you to know and everything else is advertising. Uh, I mean, I, I could have masses of criticism as to whether, uh, you know, the news at the moment uh, is too negative about Brexit. I know the media was very negative about Jeremy Corbyn. But then how do you respond as an organisation? You know, you, you have to rebut it and you put out the good news story. Yeah, so. but the point here, though, is that there was no news, was there? Yeah, I mean, but they, just, they just ignored it. And I think if, you know, if there was nothing about Brexit, I think you would have something to say about it. And when, when the media is prepared to give wall-to-wall -wall coverage to the Prime Minister putting a star on the top of the Christmas tree, but isn't prepared to report on the fact that the leader of the official opposition has been presented with a prestigious peace award, particularly given the allegations which were made against him, or, you know, these soft on terror. Well, that's what I mean. You haven't answered that question. Is there unfair coverage of Jeremy Corbyn and his position on important um, things like, yes, when it comes to the Israeli-Palestinian crisis, for example? Uh, there is a tendency to focus on the negative, but that is what the, the media does, and that's why we need there to go out and put the positive yeah, on. Indeed, on the, indeed, yeah. indeed. Do you, and, you know, think next the time but it the would point be... Is it's a media blackout. It, it's not about negativity. It, it, this is just a media blackout. When it's good news... There's nothing there. The media just simply... Well, is that because it's not it. controversial or unusual? I mean, isn't that typical of news well, generally, that unusual, they don't cover good news? Not unusual. The leader of the official opposition... No, no, no. Winning a peace prize, you just said yourself, if it's good news, it doesn't tend to get coverage. No, but you said unusual. I think that is quite unusual. When was the last time that a leader of an opposition the official opposition in this country was, was presented with a... No, a, what I meant was unusual, that there isn't anything controversial in that sense uh, about winning a peace prize. You only you report said, on bad news. Though. Well, that's what you were implying. Well, Kevin. I don't know, but, 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 but when it's the Prime Minister, you're quite happy to report, give wall-to-wall -wall coverage that she's put a star on the top of a Christmas tree. Or when Jeremy's wearing a tracksuit, that makes the front page of the of the national newspapers. Or next it's time, next time, tweet it when it's announced at the time, and let's see what happens. But when it was, well, Joe, the point is, when it was tweeted, when it went viral on social media, <laughs> still right. there was a media blackout. That's the point I'm making. Well, we're not media blackouting you, Chris no. Williamson. Thank you for at coming last. on.